All right, guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to test your coil. I already did a video on how to uh, take the plug caps off the coil and uh, trim the connections to be sure that you got a good connection in there. But now I'm going to show you how to actually test your coil to see if it's actually giving you, you know, see if that's what's causing your problem. It's pretty simple. I've got my specs written right here out of my climber. I try to keep my climber clean. Um, so when I do need it for reference or whatever, I can read it. So I just transferred everything over to some paper. Um, our primary primary coil calls for 0.28 to 0.38 ohms so we're going to test that first and we just set our voltmeter to our ohm setting the, the uh, horseshoe looking setting and primary is going to be um, right here these two prongs on the coil pack where you actually hook it up to your harness it doesn't matter which probe of these you touch on here as long as you uh, do make contact on both of them so we're going to put one there and we're going to put one here give our meter time to read our specs are 0.28 to 0.38 so we got 0 0.2 0 0.3 all right so it's fluctuating between it's down to two now so we're plenty good it did it did show as high as four for a second but it fluctuated and uh, that, that's fine because right here we're at our high side is 0 0.38 and you got 0 0.38, 0 0.39, and 0.4. So, I mean, it's right there and it did show 2 ohms there for a little bit. So it's, it, it, it's well within spec. So next is our uh, secondary coil. The secondary coil is tested and we're going to actually take the plug caps off for this test so we can verify we have a good connection. That way we're going around that. We're going to actually test directly here, here and here. And these specs are 4700 to 7100 ohms. So again, we have it set on ohms. And the climber's wrong. Don't, don't look, don't, I don't know if the climber's been corrected or not, but the climber manual is wrong. The climber manual shows how to test a coil on like a four stroke or something like that. The Banshee coil is different. Um, it, you can't you can't test by testing but like this the climber tells you to go to one to one of your leads and then go to ground on your frame that's not correct on the banshee you have to test between your two secondary leads so you're going to take one probe put it here take the other probe directly into the other wire not like the climber says put it in let it rest take a look at it we have six thousand ohms so we're definitely between 4700 and 7100 so that tells us right there that our coil is definitely good without a doubt so that's out of the way you can also you don't really have to but you can also test your plug caps and i'm going to show you guys how to do that you're going to take um leave it on ohms as well and your plug caps you're looking at between five and ten thousand ohms is your normal range so take your uh, take one of your probes, stick it in. This test is a little it could be a little picky because you have to get it in there and touch that little contact just right in there. So you have to bear with me. But we're going to be looking at between five and ten thousand. What we're looking for. So uh, I feel like I got contact right there, and then we'll reach in here and we'll touch our metal contact and then watch our gauge. There we go, 5.80. So we're at 5,000, 5,000 ohms. Well between five and ten. We're rich. That's actually a really good reading. Okay, that's that cap. Now, and if you watched my other video on this coil, it was missing one cap, and I pulled a cap off of a blaster coil I had to replace it. So we're gonna test the other cap that was on that coil. This good cap that we just tested actually came off the blaster coil. So we're going to test this one. I feel like I've got a connection there. And I'm not getting. Okay, so see this one. It's not even registering a thousand. 
example, this cap's no good. This cap's trash. So this cap, this cap, and this cap were on this coil, and this led to the right cylinder. This cylinder would not fire, and you would automatically think that it's your coil, but it wasn't. It's a plug cap, so this cap is trash. So that's it, guys. That's how you test your coil. Again, this is your primary. This is your secondary. You test your primary here, 0.28 to 0.38. Your secondary leads, one in each lead, point, uh, 4,700 to 7,100 ohms. And then your plug caps should measure, measure between 5,000 and 10,000 ohms. Anything under or above, they'd be considered bad. Um, you can get replacements from partzilla.com, from Motosport. Uh, you can go to Yamaha dealership, but you're going to pay double what they're, what they're worth. Uh, don't use anything aftermarket like you know eBay, cheap eBay stuff because you'll just be chasing your tail. But uh, so there is to it, guys. Um, so far, we've covered uh, testing the stator, the coil. I'm going to work up to testing the ignition switches and the uh, the slider kill switch. And then after that, we'll show you guys how to troubleshoot a whole bike at one time. God bless. Happy riding.